how do you know when to increase your gear? Well, if, I'm assuming you're a beginner. If you're an advanced person, your gear dosages are pretty set. You're going to do the same cycles pretty much, you know, year round. You're going to switch compounds, obviously, if you're pre-contest or off-season, but you're not going to really change how much you go up. You know, if you're already taking 1,000 milligrams of testosterone a week, you're not going to go to 2,000. I mean, some people might, but I think it's that's stupid and usually just results in more health problems. But as a beginner, um, I like to start people on the least amount possible. Usually the first cycle I put guys on is like an Anavar Winstrel oral cycle. Um, we used to use Primabolin back in the day. Obviously, Primabolin is, is very hard to find uh, real stuff these days, so I don't even usually inclu include it because 99% of it out there is test propionate. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll progress from that. Once people kind of get used to the idea of taking something, and now they're not, maybe they want to go to the next step, which is obviously an injectable, then we can go to like something like Equipoise or DECA um, cycles. You know, after six months, you know, to maybe even a year on that, if you're getting good results, there's no reason to increase it. Then you can think about doing testosterone. So usually I don't have guys start with testosterone for at least a year into their, you know, first cycling. Uh, some people might go longer. It really depends on how, what the results they're getting are. Uh, and usually when I start guys on testosterone, I don't just start them on 250 a week because that's, you know, that's usually, the, that used to be like the, the theoretical starting dose, but that's really just a replacement dose. So you're really just shutting your own body down and replacing it. So usually I start guys at 500 milligrams per week, you know, combined with an anabolic like DECA or EQ at like two to 400 milligrams a week. And those usually, and you can get really good results on that for at least another year. So you can do two years into cycling before you ever get to like the thousand milligrams of testosterone a week with like, you know, five, 600 milligrams of an anabolic. Um, so that's my progression usually with the guys I work with. Um, some people want to progress faster. Some people, once again, have dilly-dallied and, and played around with dosages, you know, with testosterone right from the get-go. But if I'm starting a beginner off, that's usually my progression.